Hi there, I'm Jill Wellington and I'm going to show you a little simplified version of how to do composites in Photoshop. But the real topic of this tutorial is going to be showing you how to produce a drop shadow cast. And this will help your composites to look a lot more realistic. I really love to do composite work, so I'm always looking for different backgrounds to add people to. I was out in the woods today and I saw this little trail through the woods through between these trees. So I photographed this thinking I want to put somebody in there on that little trail. So let's go ahead and do a little composite here. I'm going to use this picture of this darling little girl in this little red and we're wanting to take the picture of her and put her into the woods. So first we have to extract her out of this picture and to do that we're going to go up here and we're going to grab the quick selection tool. Click on that and let's look at these two little brushes at the top right here. One has a plus sign and one has a minus sign. You want it to be on the plus sign because whatever is on the inside of what you're trying to outline that you need to use the plus brush. So we're going to start it actually grabs this tool grabs colors the, the different tones so the red immediately grabbed we're just going to drag this down and get to her hair because her hair is a different color and we're going to keep dragging it down. We're on the inside remember with this plus brush and just go keep dragging it down so it's outlining each thing. Go down each leg and I'm going to grab this little lantern. Now if you have any problem like let's say it turned out like this you have this bump in there that's when you'd go up and grab your negative brush and now you're going to be working from the outside of your subject the outside of these marching ants with the negative brush you can go ahead and go in there and push this in and that's how you can kind of fine-tune that next once you see that you have a pretty good outline here go up to your refine edge button click on that and at the very top in this drop down menu you can select what do you want this background to be. Do you want to work with a black background? I always work with the white but you go ahead and play around and see which one you would like to work with. Next you want to go to this edge detection tool and this is a powerful thing just move this radius up and you can see if it changes anything. Actually this is a really fabulous, it did a great job right away. So I really don't have to fix this but if you need to fix things you can shift this edge over. See how there's a little halo right now? You can go a little bit to the left and get rid of that halo. I want you to go ahead and play around with these until you get what you like and then click OK. Now we have this picture. We're going to go up. We can see that it's in the palette right here and we're going to click on this and drag it out of the palette. Just drag it down like this. Now we're going to go up to our move tool and click on that. Go up and click on this picture, the little gal, and while holding down we're going to drag it right up into this picture. We don't need this anymore so let's go ahead and next out of that. Now we can we are on the move tool so using these corners you want to click shift when you when you make it smaller to keep it in perspective. So I'm going to shrink her down a little bit and see about I'm going to have her a little way down the path. She's a little still a little too big. Let's just kind of play with this. I'm guessing she's going to be about that big. Now one of the things about compositing work, now for, we're also going to apply this now. One thing about composite work, it, it looks kind of like she's floating over the snow. That, that's not realistic. So actually I'm just going to use the eraser tool and go in here and make it look like her feet are a little buried in the snow. That looks a little more realistic. You can just play with that. If you don't have snow in your picture, you can even have her buried in the grass if you have grass in your picture. Now this looks really cute. It looks like she's in the woods except notice that it was a sunny day and you can see these shadows from these trees. There's shadows in the woods but there's no shadow with her. So we want to create that shadow and that's what I want to show you today. So we're going to go up and 
you can see that we're, we have this background copy and that's clicked. We're going to go up to layer, layer style, and go down to drop shadow. And this box comes up. Don't worry about this box. We're, you don't have to just click OK. It's already fine. And now we're going to go back up here to layer, layer style again, and this time go to create layer and then click here. OK. Now let's click on this background copy that was made because really what this is, is this is a copy of the shadow, the drop shadow we made. Now go up to edit and free transform or control T on your PC. Um, now click on control while holding control down. Let's grab this upper corner and look at this. I'm dragging the shadow out. Oh, I love doing this. <laughs> now once you let go of that, you can actually move this around to, to be where you want it to be. So I'm going to have a little bit under her feet. Obviously, this shadow from this tree is going this way, so that's why I made the shadow go this way. If it was the other way, we'd pull it the other way. You can really play with this however you want. You can play it like this, bring this down more, make it bigger. Whatever you want to do. The, the, I love this. This is what you can play with in here. Move this underneath her. So that looks good to me. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to apply that. Now notice that this shadow is black and grayish tone, but look at all the other shadows in this picture. They're, they're a bluish tone. So we're going to go and copy and get that same tone. So go up here and grab your eyedropper tool. Just click on it. Then just come down here and we're going to sample one of the shadows and it's, it's a blue tone. It's this light blue tone. So then we're going to go up and we're going to grab this paint can tool and go over here. You see where that little arrow is on the paint can by the paint can, put it right over that shadow and click. And there you have now changed the color and it's the same tone as the other shadows in the picture. And now you can play around with your opacity. If you want it to go down a little bit, that looks good. I also, obviously she wouldn't have the shadow on her tree. So I just go over to the eraser tool and you can erase it off the tree or if there's another place that, that you don't like it. But doesn't that look natural? Let's look at it before. This was before the shadow. And that's what the shadow and it just looks a lot more natural. So now you know how to make a drop shadow. Have a great time doing it. <laughs>